everybody. Um, it's your boy. Um, we're about to do arms today. I'm gonna hit biceps and triceps. So we're gonna do six total movements. Um, we're gonna first start off with the dumbbell curls, and then we're gonna superset those with the easy bar curl. And when we do the dumbbells, it's gonna be um, hammer curls because we're trying to hit both parts of the bicep, which is the long head and the short head. And when I start doing the um, exercises, I'll let you know which part of the short head and which part of the um, the long head of the biceps that we'll be hitting, just so y'all get an idea. So first, we're going to start off with some um, <clears throat> warm-up curls with just the barbell itself, just to get the blood flowing and our bodies warm. So let's do it. Usually when I do my warm-up set, I do about two to three sets of just the barbell just to get my blood flowing. But y'all just seen me do it. I don't got to do the other two sets on camera. So y'all see me when I start the workout. Okay, now that we all warmed up, um, arms is feeling loose. And it's time to get it in. Start the first um, superset. Um, what I'm going to do is the hammer curls, which are going to hit the long part, the long head of the bicep. So I'm coming like this. I'm going to be sitting on this bench over here. As soon as I finish about 15 to 20 reps on that, I'm going to jump straight into the easy curl bar and then bang out the, the um, curls this way, which hits that short head so we can get started. I'm starting to get tight and tired after a while. What you all just saw right there, I usually do about five sets of those. So I'm gonna finish my sets, got four more, then I'll get back with y'all when we start the next arm exercise. All right, I'm on my, about to start my fifth set of the easy curl, hammer curl um, superset. So, um, 
forgot to explain about the whole objective when it comes to curling. Um, what you don't want to do is curl like this. That's, that's not doing anything. All you're doing is just looking foolish. What you want to do is, as you're curling, I turn to the side here. As you're curling, you want to bring the bar or the dumbbell up and get that squeeze. What I do myself is to get that mind muscle, uh, mind muscle connection is to pretend that someone has their finger right here on the inner part of my arm. And as I'm curling, I'm trying to break that person's finger or that imaginary finger. And by trying to break it, you can't help but the soup squeeze super hard. So you want to concentrate on the contraction of the muscle or in other words, the squeezing of the muscle. That's how you get it to grow. That's how you break down the muscle fibers inside. That's how you get that blood flow. So you want to squeeze. And that goes for whatever muscle you work in. You want to make sure you get that contraction, squeezing that muscle, getting that blood um, rushing through there so you can get your muscles to grow. So you want to make every rep count. Live for the purpose. Not just do it just to do it. Live for the purpose. So I'm about to start this fifth set. Right about now, I got a good pump going on. As you can see, a good pump. Arms from the floor. And take a break if you need to, man. Yeah, we human, you get tired. You should still push through it, but go all the way until you can't go no more. And if you need to take a break to rest, to catch your breath for a few seconds, then do so, man. Because I do. <laughs> and I still get good results. So with these hammers, you don't want the arm flaring up like this. You want it staying, the elbow stand stationary next to your sides. You just want to curl up. You want to use your elbow back. You want the elbow acting as a hinge, like a door hinge. You want it like that, controlling it up, squeezing, controlling it down. Controlling it up, squeezing, controlling it down. Control it up, don't let it just fall. Control it up, control it down. All right, let's finish up this last set so we can go into the next exercise for the arms. Push through that pain, man. Arms is on fire. One more, one more. Good form. 15. yourself, you're squeezing hard enough, your arms are going to get tired. So, eight more. 
And this ain't no lightweight. It's 25 on each side. So it's 50 plus whatever this bar weighs. Hey. Two more. One more thing. Another thing in between sets, I'm resting to help the blood flow through the muscles. I'll flex and squeeze. Squeeze to get that pump. <sighs> Next, we're gonna do the um, preacher bar curls. But as you see, we don't have a preacher bar down yet. So instead of making excuses, we gonna make do. So what I did was I put the um, the back pad of the um, bench press at like a, I guess you could say like a 45 degree angle. Um, and this is gonna be our preacher curl. And we're just doing one arm dumbbell preacher curls. And with this exercise, we're gonna focus on the squeezing and the stretching out of the muscle. So it's gonna be um, slow down, explode up on down slow and exploding up. And this this exercise right here is gonna hit this short head. It's gonna develop that line in here that I've been trying to get for the longest, but found out I was lifting the wrong way and not doing the proper exercises, excuse me, to get that cut in there. But it's part of learning and um, asking questions, man. Had I not asked questions, I wouldn't have never known that I was doing the wrong arm exercises to even attain, well, to even get what I was, to get the look I was going for, excuse me. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. And this is just with a 25 pound dumbbell, because this is all I have. But if you're squeezing hard enough, it don't even matter. You don't even need heavy weight. And, oh, I'm sorry. And we're gonna superset this with um, we'll band burn, we'll band burnouts, and I'll show you what that is. It's this band right here. Now this came with like two other attachments. It's a red one, this blue one, and a black one. They all have different resistance. I got this from Walmart for about 17 bucks. Man. So it's well worth it. You can get a good workout in with this because it creates a lot of resistance. So we're gonna incorporate this in this workout. So as soon as I finish, one arm here, and then the other arm, I'm jumping straight into these curls. And we're not counting, we're not gonna count the reps on these. We're just gonna keep counting. I mean, we're just gonna keep going till you can't go no more. And you're squeezing down, squeeze, down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Focusing on the contraction of that muscle. I like to start down 
and like a hammer motion and curl up as if I'm as if I'm posing. And that'll create more contraction in the muscle. It help you get that cut underneath that arm, that arm. Control it down. Control it up. Squeeze six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Straight into these. We'll turn different angles for y'all, but I'll start off this angle first. Turn to the side for you. Let the muscles work. Muscles they get tired, man. Look at that. All that blood in there. But I'm just, <clears throat> that was the first set. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other three and meet y'all on the last set before we head over to the last bicep exercise. Okay, okay. Moving on to the fifth set right here. I had to take my shirt off, man. It's getting hot as hell down here. Um, like I said, we moving on to the fifth set. This last set, by this time, your arm's gonna be on fire, screaming, in pain. So this last set right here is gonna be a true test to if you're gonna push through it or give up. I don't care if you gotta take two or three breaks. Just get to that that um that number you set for your reps, and just make sure you hit that point that number, and try to even exceed it if you can. Just don't stop. Got to keep going. My arms are very tired, but I'm not gonna stop. I got a my, I got a picture in my mind of how I want to look, and I will never achieve that look of that picture in my mind if I just quit just because stuff get hard. Can't quit, man. Can't quit, you gotta keep pushing. So let's get this done. Oh. 
Straight in, I call them burnouts. I'm straight into these burnouts. These here are all about the squeeze. Squeeze the muscles. Right now, I feel like my skin. Of the burst. Okay. That's four bicep exercises down. We had two more to go. And I just came up with this because any other day I will stop after that and go straight to my tricep workout. But um, this just popped in my mind. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do reverse grip curls with the easy bar. And what I mean by reverse grip, I'm gonna take the bar like this, start in a downward position, I'm gonna squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. And I'm not gonna load the, Load it up with a lot of weight for the simple fact that we didn't, I didn't do so many curls, my arms are tired. So I don't need that much weight. I'm focusing on the squeeze. And then I'm going to superset the reverse curl grips with, um, with side hammers coming like this, coming across the body. Everybody got different names for them. You can call them across the body, hammer curls, whatever. This is what we're doing across the body. Right here, we squeeze. I mean, we're focusing on the outer head of that bicep, and with the easy curl, we're gonna hit some forearm too, and also a little bit of, the, of that inner head right there. So let's get to that next. I'm going to start out with these 25s with the across the body hammers until I can't do any more. Then I'm going to just drop down to the 10s. I don't have any 15. Thank <laughs> you. 
first set. See y'all at the last. All right. Last set of this bicep super set. Make sure y'all getting a good squeeze. I'll face the camera this way. Make sure you're getting a good squeeze. Sorry about that uh, interruption in the video. My phone, I guess it must have been recording too long, so it cut off and I had to start the camera over again. So we finished with our bicep exercise. By right now, the arm should be pumped, feeling like concrete. Next, we're gonna go into um, tricep exercises. I got four tricep exercises to do. We're gonna start off with the, um, whew, excuse me, flat bench, um, tricep extensions over the head with the um, barbell, actually easy curl bar. And then we're gonna superset that with tricep kickbacks on the bar, one arm at a time. So with those, I normally do like four sets instead of five because the arms are pretty like beat up right now. But if I can do five, I'll do it. So I'll see y'all when we start the triceps. All right, time for the overhead tricep extensions. Now with these, you gotta be careful. Because if you don't do these right, you can snap your stuff up, man. I ain't trying to get nobody out there injured, out there injured. So be careful how you do these. If you inexperienced, um, I wouldn't use a whole bunch of weight on these until you get used to it. I would even say practice with the bar first before you start trying to put some weight on there. So what we're doing here, laying back, head. Close to the edge of the, of the bench. You're going to grab the bar about shoulder width apart. You're going to put it at sort of like an angle right here, like a 45 degree angle. And you're just bending at the elbows. The, the further you stretch it, the better chance you have of hitting this long part of long head of the tricep. So, you want a 45 degree angle, try to have the bar come close to the edge of the bench. So once you get it here, bend 
Straighten out the elbows. And as you bring it, tighten up the, tighten up the triceps. Lock it out here. Bring it back. Lock it out. Bring it back. Lock it out. Bring it back. Lock it out. We're going to do 15 um, reps. And we're going to do four sets of these. And we're going to superset these with the um, dumbbell kickbacks. And I'll do trick those real fast too. Quick. You're going to put the opposite knee, opposite hand on the bench like this. Start here, kicking back. Here, kicking back, squeezing. Here, squeezing. Here, squeezing. Here, squeezing. You want to get that, trying to develop that horseshoe back there. Let's get it. Go from nose straight to your kickbacks. One, two, three. Only bend at the elbows. Four, five, six. Switch arms. This time, this hand gonna be on the bench, and that right leg gonna be up here. If you're new to these tricep exercises, you're going to start to catch cramps, like back in here. If you do, just massage that out, man. The cramps don't mean stop. It just means that your muscles are responding. That's what you want. Drink some water in between. Just don't stop. Stop. Let's get it. Oh. 
bit. What? Last tricep superset. Um, I'm gonna do weighted dips using the bench. When I say weighted dips, I'm gonna place um, either 35 or 45 pound plate on my lap. I'm gonna sit on the side of the bench like this. I'm coming down. Going up, coming down, going up, coming down, going up. Next, after I finish about 15 to 20 of those, I'm going to do this exercise that I saw um, C.T. Fletcher doing. Y'all don't know who he is. That man is a beast. Go check out his channel. His name is C.T. Fletcher. And um, I saw them doing this tricep exercise with a dumbbell that I've never seen done before. So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. I tried it once before and it was kind of difficult, but I liked the way it felt. You don't need no heavy weight with these because you're doing a lot of reps. It's basically like 40 reps on one arm. So what you're gonna do is lay down here, you're gonna have your arm back here. You're gonna do one arm tricep extensions. You're gonna do 20 of these going this way. You're gonna keep that arm at an angle, that way you keep constant tension on your tricep. After you do 20 of those, you're gonna come across the body, kick it up that way. You're gonna do 20 of those. Next, you go straight to, I'm going to call them the CT Fletchers because he's the first person I've seen doing. So you go straight into them CTs.
Doing all them reps to get your arms tired. Now, mind you, I was only using a 10 pound dumbbell. So, you saw how I was struggling towards the middle. You don't need a lot of weight for this because the last thing you want to do is your arms get weak. And this thing come down and bust you dead in your face. Then you won't be able to work out at all. So be smart, man. So I'll do five more reps on that.
So we all done now. Um, I appreciate you all checking out my channel, taking the time out y'all busy day or busy night or whatever you could have, whatever you could have been doing besides watching this. I appreciate y'all watching this. And um, like the video, share the video. If you if you don't think that the video helped you, maybe somebody else that you know could benefit from watching this to motivate them and show them that just because you don't have the money to go to the gym, um, that you can't that you can't um make up excuses saying that you can't get fit because as you've seen, I didn't use much to get a good workout in. So, like the video, comment at the bottom, tell me what y'all think and what y'all like to see as far as like basement workouts, and um, I promise I'll, be, I'll reply back to y'all. So, again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night. I'm about to go, go eat and go to bed. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.